If you are a developer learning programming, programming languages or the tech stack or a content creator who is educating the developer community through written and the video content, you must know about Free Code Camp. In case you don't know, don't worry, let me tell you about it. Free Code Camp is an educational organization founded by Quincy Larson way back in 2014. The Free Code Camp organization contains interactive learning platform, online community forum, online publication called Free Code Camp News, and their YouTube channel. There is a Discord channel where you can talk about programming challenges, learn from your peer developers, and also can know many things that are happening around the developer community. Before we talk further about Free Code Camp, let me clarify a few things. This is not a paid or promotional video. I'm making this video out of my love and respect towards Free Code Camp and the community around it. The main reason for making this video is to influence and inspire a lot of content creators out there so that they can start creating written and video content on Free Code Camp platform. I'm extremely proud of my contributions on this platform since last four years, almost four years, and I'll be continuing to do so in future as well. So let's get started understanding two primary aspects from this video. First, how to start contributing to Free Code Camp as a contributing writer or author. And second, what kind of benefit you can expect or you can get if you start contributing. To get started as a contributing author or contributing writer on Free Code Camp publication, which is also known as Free Code Camp News, you need to fill up this form. This form is a lengthy one, but it is worth looking into each of this field and understand that why it is important to fill up with utmost details. There is a thorough check and there is a thorough process through which you get qualified to contribute to Free Code Camp publication. And that's why understanding what is required from you to fill up this form is pretty important. So let's spend some time understanding what are the fields that you need to fill up in this form and what are the probable values that you can provide to get accepted as an author for Free Code Camp publication. The link to this form is in the description of this video. So please open that up and start filling. Of course, you need to provide your email and the name. But along with that, you also need to provide a few article links that you have written before as a proof of your work. This establishes your credibility as a writer. So as you are understanding that you cannot apply to Free Code Camp publication as an author or writer if you are just getting started. You have some amount of proof of work that you have written either on your blog or on dev.to or on Hashnode or any other blogging platform in that matter. And some of those links you can actually provide over here. They ask for three links. So these are the three fields where you have to provide those links one by one. If some article that you really like of your own work, you're really proud of, provide that as the first one, then the second one, then the third one in that particular order. A great thing about writing for Free Code Camp publication is that there is a very strong review process. I have learned immense, immense amount of thing from this review process. I am a better writer today because that review process has took me through a lot of lot of hurdles in the beginning of it and today i understand the methodology i understand like what they expect and i think i'm following that quite well so this is where you need to acknowledge that free code Camp has the permission to edit and publish because they would like to do certain edit from their end at the same time they will also ask you to do further edit if they find that it requires some amount of uplifting from your side as well. Another great advantage of writing on Free Code Camp is that even if you're writing on a language, say English, there is always a possibility that your article would be translated into another language, say Spanish or Bangla or whatever it is, right? Now, Free Code Camp asks your permission that your article can be translated into other languages so you have to accept that now this is something serious and i have learned a lot from my initial days of contributing to free code camp so the content that you are going to put you have to make sure that content is completely yours it is not taken from anybody else it is not taken from anybody else writing and you have to understand that when you are actually getting influenced by someone else's work versus when you are actually copy pasting somebody's work so you have to make a complete differentiation between those two free code cam would allow you to do some amount of self-promotion for example you want to add your twitter handle or add some of the other socials and all 
but it is always encouraged that you do that towards the end of the article because you want your reader to first focus on your article not on you so that's the reason it is actually over here so you can accept that now i'm going to talk about it a little bit more when i'm going to show you the editor and how do you plan writing but at a high level you have to decide the cover image that you want to put for your article and you don't have to really define anything else as a meta parameter for your article apart from the cover photo and maybe the slug url even not in the slug url i've never touched that i just touched the cover photo rest of things are already taken care by free code camp team you know previously i told like your article should be your authentic work at the same time any of your authentic work that you have published somewhere else you should not be publishing on free code camp that's what you need to accept over here so make sure that you go by that now this is where i think there are there are a lot of things that you can put forward letting the free code camp publication committee know about your passion and why you want to write for free code camp then what topics you enjoy writing about uh, everybody kind of build their own niche somebody do on the web application side somebody maybe on the ux side somebody in the back end full stack etc so whatever you enjoy writing about please put that if if there are anything new that you are planning to learn and write about those topic why don't you just put it over here if you don't know please learn and educate yourself about the word plagiarism how you put that kind of line that you are not really taking somebody's work as it is and then putting as yours i had learned that and this is a learning that if you are just getting started as a writer or as a content creator as such that you must have because you should not put any content which is by someone else barva team you should always put your content there might be some influences but even in that case also you have to make sure that you are changing it completely with your examples with your style of writing and then only you are actually putting it so make sure that you understand it and because of that reason there are bunch of questions now that you need to answer the intention over here that in case you do not know about it you go research about it you learn about it so that tomorrow you are not falling into any kind of problem that you and free code camp both have to suffer so please go through this then there are a few questions about whether you have already started writing as a technical writer for any other companies are those paid engagements and not you can just talk about those i was talking about the review system right this is something i strongly admire and like initial days you might feel that things are a bit strict that why there are number of review comments that coming on my way why there are things going back and forth with me but believe me if you have that patience and if you have that kind of courage you will learn a lot from the review process of free code camp and you got to be open with constructive feedback right there are varieties of feedback people give a lot of negative feedback people give feedback for your own growth the constructive feedback are the one that is for your betterment and the betterment for your work so make sure that you get them work on it and in the next time when you write another article or making another contribution you have taken care of the previous comments already that's how you will make your acceleration that's how you will see like how beautifully you are growing as a writer here few questions are to clarify your intentions like how does publishing technical tutorials get you closer to your goals like what kind of goals you have around this one for me if you ask 4 years back my goal was to start learning to write good articles in english i'm not natively english spoken so i have a lot of weakness in terms of writing and speaking english so one of the target that i had one of the goal that i had is about getting a good grip on it especially on the writing side of it i think free code camp in last 4 years has really helped me to fulfill that and you know if you care for the global developer community and if you are not a native english speaker if you want some of the articles maybe your article itself to be translated into the language that you speak and you are more aware of you can always vouch for it is there anything else you would like the free code camp community publication editorial team to know about you and your goals of course let them know in details like you know what you do what are your visions it it may not be related to writing always you might want to be something you know the writing can really help you publishing articles sharing knowledge can actually help you to get there please write about it very very openly so after filling up everything just submit this form and then relax
Once your application is reviewed and it is through, you will be getting an email communication from the FreeCodeCamp editorial team. That's where they will let you know that if you are onboarded and if you are onboarded, what are the next steps that you can take. In the same email, you will also get to know about the style guide. I'm also going to touch base about the style guide at a very high level in this video. And you would also know how to set up your account. Once you receive an email to activate your account, Please activate your account so that you can start going to the editor and start exploring the stuff. The web page that you're seeing on your screen is the interface where I write and manage my drafts. In future, it might change. It could be a completely different interface, but most of the things I guess would be same. There will be a place where all your draft will be listed. This is how my drafts are. There are certain drafts you can see from many years ago that I have not written yet. That's where you are not having any pressure on publishing your work or pre code camp. You can do it when you are absolutely free and you have that mood and mind to do it, right? So these are my draft and I can always create a new draft by clicking on this new post and then I can give a post title and then I can start writing my post over here. The one that I was mentioning before is here I can upload a post image of my choice and then leave rest of the things, rest of the metadata for the team to take care. You don't have to do anything. Don't try doing anything. That's it. And then once you are done with your self review, please spend some good amount of time with self review. And then you copy this particular URL and send to the editorial team for further reviewing. And once you get the response back, the response could have certain review comments so that you can come back to same URL, start taking care of those review comments and take this conversation forward saying that I am done. And once both the parties are satisfied with the review comments, your work will be published. Once it is published, you can see it in the freecodecamp.org slash news, this particular page. Also, you can go to your own author page and there also you can see all the work, all the articles published by you. Let me now talk about the publication style guide a bit. However, the style guide is quite bigger and I would really request you to read through it before you start attempting your article or start posting your article draft for review. The link to this particular style guide is also there in the description of the video. So please open it up and start looking into it. Some of the things that are covered while you are filling the form, there are certain guidelines are also over here that you can map easily. Few things like how to package your tutorial or the article properly, like why you should have a good headline, why you should have a cover image. There are certain pointers like what are those good headline and then you can take a lot of inspiration from this one and you can actually start doing it. Here are a few awesome tips like, you know, that what kind of thing that people would love to read. So you can see like, you know, keeping it simple, you use short sentences, short paragraphs. And these are the things, you know, once I learned, I started applying on my own blog also, and I started seeing a lot of good results out of it. So please go through this. So there is a concept of writing an article, which is like a post that you want to make published on free code camp publication. Also, you can do something called a handbook. I've written a couple of handbooks already on free code camp and publish them. So read this section where you can know that how to differentiate between a handbook versus a regular article or a regular thing that you want to publish. So there are a lot of examples out there, which you can keep in mind when you want to target one of them. Again, a very key section over here about taking inspiration from someone versus copy pasting their work and publishing it as yours. So there are a lot of examples of how to avoid it and how to distinguish it. So before, even if you fill up the form that I showed before, if you go through this particular style guide, you would have a lot of knowledge to answer some of the questions related to this topic asked in the form itself. In the age of AI, can you use generative AI like chat GPT or anything else to start creating your articles? I'm sure that this question would be there in your mind. The answer is also there in the style guide. So please take a look at it. Yeah, this is pretty important. Like once you write something, make sure to review, re-review, re-review -re until otherwise you feel somewhat satisfied. What happened with me is like every time I review my work, I find something new. So in general, my thought process is like do review at least three times. And after that, probably give it to the free code camp reviewers so that, you know, they give additional points and you can start learning from it. Make sure that all those grammatical mistakes, all those mistakes with the spelling, everything is taken care. Make sure that you make use of correct tool like Grammarly or anything else through which you can check some of these errors. We spoke about the cross posting before the self promotional part. Don't do it in the beginning of the article 
always try to do it at the end and once you're done with your draft you have reviewed it this is the address where you can actually send it a reviewer that you are working with very closely in my case i have you can send to the reviewer directly as well to their email id but it is advisable that when you're getting started you can send the mail to editorial at freecodecamp.org so that they can actually assign your work to the respective reviewer who can take up at that point in time and do the review another great thing is like you can check the analytics of your article like how they are doing you know what kind of people are reading them where are you getting a lot of hits from so all these things will be shared with you so that periodically you can check that how your articles are performing and i think this is a very good moral boosting in with my own blog it wouldn't have happened at all like the coming kind of reach that the free code come articles get yeah so that's all about the style guide at a high level please check the link in the description so that you can learn more and again before you start applying go through this style guide this is going to help you a lot in answering some of those questions in the form now let's talk about a few benefits like why should you do it every work requires certain amount of time and you may be busy with many other stuff then what should be your motivation for doing it i'll let you know my motivation some of this might work for you or you might find a, altogether a new motivation for you my main motivation for doing something on a platform or an, or, or an organization like free code Camp is the satisfaction of giving back to the developer community i have learned a lot reading articles reading things looking into the courses from free code Camp. why not giving back if i am capable of or why not giving back if i have knowledge so the thing that strike me very hard and that's the reason that i started doing this one second is your portfolio if you really want to gain some momentum as a writer even at the age of ai you can do it by start contributing to free code camp because free code camp is going to help you build a good writer portfolio i have seen it happening because i applied on a few other paid publications or the companies like who pay you for article writing and the proof of work apart from giving my own blog i also have given the free code camp article link that were published and that gives a good amount of credibility at the back saying that okay if this person is writing for free code camp and he is knowledgeable on this and this area probably it's a great thing to have this person and see like you know how it results out then the next thing is do it to become a better writer as i was saying is like if you love writing if you want to say write a book in future or if you want to have a good blog where you want to put a lot of rich content you also need to know how to write better in free code cam the one of the advantage is the review process through the review process you get to learn a lot of stuff what are the right way of articulating certain things what are the right way of structuring few things their style guide itself is a great one great resource for you to kind of look into finally i think i enjoy like you know every year when quincy sends some list of contributing author the top contributing author and if i somehow find my name you know sneaking in between somewhere there that's a great proud factor for me you know the acknowledgement of the work that i have been doing over the years contributing to this awesome organization which is doing a lot of stuff for the global developer community so was it helpful if so please let me know with your comment below and I will be looking forward to know like if this video push you, influence you, inspire you to start contributing to Free Code Camp as a contributing author. If you have already started with Free Code Camp, excellent work. You are doing awesome work. If you are thinking to get started, please get started. All the information that we have gathered in this video, those links are there in the description of this video. So get started. I am available on Twitter. I'm available on LinkedIn. So if you have any further queries, don't hesitate to ping me. If you have any questions that you can publicly ask, please post a comment about it below. I'm going to respond to you with whatever information I have. With that, all the very best with your writing journey. Believe me, it's a great satisfaction giving back to the developer community. Thank you very much for listening to me. We'll be coming back again with other videos soon on Tapascript channel.